What if I run out of yarn, babe? Will you still love me? Comfortable like that? Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh. I'm comfy as shit right now. Oh. Your hair looks so good styled. I um I actually went to the store today to buy a hair. Uh, I bought a flat iron because I couldn't find mine yesterday. I think I lost it at some point in time. I've also never been able to like curl my hair uh, with a flat iron and I figured it out today. So look, look at the project I got going right now. We're working on, this is uh, my first Christmas sweater of the season. Um, these needles, it's kind of like random, but it's 12.75. I was like searching around for circular needles that were like really big. I had these, which is a 12.75, and I had 15 millimeters, and I did a swatch of both, and I liked these better. Um, it's still like very loosely knit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, like there's, there's holes in it. I would wear a tank top underneath, you know, if I was wearing it out. They are plastic. They're Susan Bates. It's a US 17, it says 12.75 millimeters. No pattern, we're, w we're winging it, and um, we're just gonna see how it goes. Oh, and I'm just double stranding, like, Red Heart. I always have, like, big plans for things. Um, I had big plans for, like, Halloween. Like, two months before Halloween, I was like, I'm gonna start making spiderweb tops now so that I'll have a bunch ready in October and I can sell them all and it'll be great. And then I just, like, didn't do that. Two weeks ago, I was like, I should start making Christmas sweaters. And I'm actually doing it this time instead of how I didn't do it for Halloween. It has sparkles in it. And this is old. Look at it. Bright Christmas. So look at the old Simply Soft logo. Karen Simply Soft. <laughs> look at it. It's so old. I called my grandma today and I was like, Grandma, I cut all my hair off. She was like, oh yeah. I remember one time uh, I took you to the to get your hair cut whenever you were a kid and you were like, I want to cut it real short, like basically as short as it is right now. And then she was like, um, I have to call your mom and ask her first. It's so quiet here compared to on TikTok. I know, I, um, I kind of like it here better than on TikTok. I need to make more friends that knit and crochet. Yeah, I don't have any friends in person. <laughs> I don't have any friends regardless. Yeah, you guys can like hang out with me and crochet and knit or whatever. One day I just like got on Twitch cause I was looking for something to watch. And um, obviously there's a lot of TikTok live people that crochet. I was looking around Twitch to find some streamers that I liked so that I could just watch while I knit because it's so much easier to watch a stream because it just goes for so long and you don't have to click anything, you know? I learned how to crochet first um, and then like a couple years after I started crocheting, I taught myself how to knit. I mean, the reason I started knitting was because I wanted some leg warmers and I wore them one time. I hold the yarn in my left hand when I'm knitting and crocheting. So this would be considered um, continental style of knitting. I, I like found a video on YouTube that said continental knitting and I was like, whoa, breakthrough. Because before that I was like, this is really hard. I don't even, I'm not like well versed enough in knitting to be making tutorials for it, you know? Maybe you can make a basic tutorial. Yeah, I could probably do a beginner tutorial. Oh, shit. Knitting Christmas sweater, right? We're about to switch. To a crochet Christmas sweater. She <laughs> guys got you good. Okay, um, this is another Christmas yarn that I have, but it's like very muted colors. And instead of white, it's like red, green, and cream colored. My camera does not pick up on these colors well, so I'm sorry. But uh, we're making granny squares. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. 
<laughs> What's the saying? <laughs> going to like two miles an hour, you're like, whoa, slow down! <laughs> I can show you how to weave in the ends on the next one, sorry. XS14, X, S, X, X. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the stream. I can't. <laughs> I can't read. Um, I have been crocheting for nine years and knitting for six years. Basically, um, I leave the end real, real long from the middle from like my magic circle and then I take the end out here and I weave them so they meet together and then I tie them in a little knot. That is right here. This is the back. I don't know if you can see. They are la they're laughing in Spanish. Ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Any tips on how to crochet faster? Yeah, basically you just move your hands a lot faster. Actually, you can leave now. I have made real friends. <laughs> <laughs> Neji is, where did he, you kicked him off of his own beanbag? I didn't kick him off. He himself kicked himself off as well also. <sighs> You know, whenever you live at home, you just like usually you just like share a hair dryer in the bathroom with like your mom, and and whenever you you <laughs> shut up. I don't understand this experience. Shut up. If you live in the city, nervous for our in infrastructure. Yeah. <laughs> I like your words, Magic Man. <laughs> You guys make me nervous, and then like not, my brain shuts down, and I start sweating. <laughs> if I get up, he thinks that somebody's at the door. <laughs> because you never fucking move. <laughs> I need to take pictures of this bag and put it on my website so I can sell it and get it out of the house. Here you go. You still have this? It's not making you like hot or anything? Is it comfy for you? Why would you ruin my comfort if it was comfy? You like it? Like you just moved it. I wanted to angle it so they, they could see it better. I have a mannequin back there, a mannequin right here, and I have another one in the corner. Okay, well, love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>